And this is where the identities were born. We're trying to evaluate the tangent of that half angle and we're given a couple of things. The tangent of theta is root seven over three and theta is in the third quadrant. So we expand out that half angle. Half angle. And when we do, we're gonna create our triangle. Belfort has looked absolutely spectacular in his last few five years. We create that triangle with our given information. Pythagorean completes it. And now we're going to fill in the information. The sign on that triangle is the opposite over the adjacent. And that's how they get the... Oh, opposite over our hypotenuse. My bad. And that's how they get that. And it's negative in the third quadrant. So they read off the cosine. Ka, 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 ka. But I think that's negative down there. Anyways, I'm sure you'll catch that later. All right, rewrite the numerator. What's in the denominator? Yeah, got it. All right, focused. We're going to get this. That's the square root of, oh, you're adding those fractions in the denominator. Great. I don't know what the applause is for. The multiplication of the reciprocal? That's what they're doing. Cross out those, and then we have that. But it's not over yet. Because, you know, like all books, we need to rationalize that denominator. Multiply it by the conjugate. So then we get the square root of 26 plus 3 over the square root of 26 plus 3. Good. Good. All right. That numerator? Meh. I think you forgot the root somewhere. The root of 17? Use the difference of squares on the bottom, good. There you go. Didn't mean to interrupt you. All right, clean it up. We're almost done. Seems like you got a lot going on there. And you're done. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It was in the palm of your hands. 